Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Um, today I'm going to show you a tunneling cannon. Basically, as the name suggests, it ju is just meant to tunnel long distances. Um, the particular one I'm doing today is not a super upgraded one, so it will go about, um, I don't know, seven chunks? I'm just guessing. But um, I'll just show you it in action really quick. Okay, here's the button. So I'll probably not be um, giving a world download to this just because I'm in a multiplayer server. But um, I will try and give a schematic for it. I have to download Schematica really quick though. Um, so as you saw there, basically, it just tore through all that stone. Um, so now I'm just going to explain how it works. There are two hammers. As I explained in this lab with stack hybrid video, in order to produce the tunneling effect, um, one cannon blows up first, and then the next one blows up instantly afterwards, but it takes place in the same tick. So um, a comparator is just slightly longer than um, one tick of a redstone pulse, but it's like somewhere between one and two ticks. So um, the comparator TNT and the um, repeater TNT take place in the same game tick so um that explains the tunneling effect so just in case that didn't make sense so over here this hammer explodes first it has one tick here just so that it reaches all the red sun torches and then it has four ticks here so five ticks total so over here i have um two ticks of the repeater just so that will go all the way up the glow sun thing and then um repeaters just so that the red sun will go around just like over there but it only adds up to four ticks and then I have these comparators which make up for that five and a little bit more ticks so like 5.5 ticks I'm just gonna say so um, that's basically how you count it and then make sure it works and then I just have the standard um, compression so it's there and that's basically all you need to know. Um, one thing interesting about tunneling cannons is that, like here, as you can see, I'm compressing it, um, all the TNT into this part right here. I'm not actually compressing it here. You can do it either way when you build a cannon, but I just find it easier to compress it right here. And um, it's just an interesting, like I don't know how to really explain it, but like this hammer is being. Um, locked more to this wall right here and th while the hammer over here is being compressed even though it's in like the same like width it's still being comp compressed slightly over here so the TNT like at this block is actually pushing the front TNT to the side just enough so that will automatically um, be tunneling it that's just an optional thing in theory you could realign it if you want to but it it's just less redstone, so if you're just tunneling, don't make it overly complicated. Just do it as easy as you want. So, um, this might not be the most practical cannon because I don't have, like, sand built into it, but, like, um, really it's easily upgradable. I just wanted to focus more on the, um, actual tunneling effect. So I'll just fire one more time to show you. And if you pay close attention, you can kind of see how, like, chunks of this is being destroyed. So it's not like it's being destroyed all at once. You can kind of see it, like the chain reaction. So that's basically all you need to know about this cannon. Um, look in the description for a schematic download. And I hope you all enjoyed. Um, sorry, I haven't done a, um, a reverse stack hybrid explanation video yet. Um, I'll do that soon. Um, I might give you a better world download for it, um, like a 200 stacker, um, and then I have figured out how to do a left shooter recently, um, so I'll also be doing one of those too, so um, see you all later and hope you enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, see you later.